Hi all, in this video, let's learn about how to find and fix the accessibility issues in React.js. Firstly, what all these accessibility issues? Any of the web application should be built in such a way that people with disability also should able to use that application. That is the main motivation we need to have while we are building any of the web application. So now most of the applications we are building, but we are leaving this accessibility like that. So now let's understand how to find these accessibility issues and how to fix these issues. Firstly, so this is the sample react application. First thing is like we need to install like I'm installing with the dev dependency react X. So this is the dependency. So I'm installing it. So once this is installed, so let's open the package.json file. Yes, this was installed. Okay. It was added to our package.json as a dev dependency. Next, what is the major file like in your application what is a major file like index.js file here in our case where you are loading your first component so this is a major file in our application here we need to import this react x uh, dependency so before that we need to understand one thing we need to run this react x only in the development mode not in the production mode because it adds some overhead if it is added to the production mode. So that's the reason we are adding it only to the development mode. For that, we are writing a piece of block like process dot environment dot node. If the node, if the environment is not equal to production, okay, then only we will do this. Okay, if it is a production, we will not add this. So we are loading this dynamically. The React X dependency we have loaded and we are passing three parameters for now one is react second one react dom third one is a milliseconds how much time delay it needs to run how much frequently the react x should run on our application so here we have given this and now if you apply run the application let's see what all the dependency issues we have so see, these are the dependency issues it would be given us. So new X issues, okay. It would be divided our issues in these categories, like serious, critical, moderate, and minor. So there would be like severity levels. Based upon the severity levels, these issues will be grouped, okay. If you want to hear, so in here I'm clicking this issue, critical issue. If you click this, it will be showing you which element has this issue. You can select that element, okay. Now see, you can clearly see at the left side which element has this issue and later on you can click the link below this critical i'm clicking this link and i'm opening that in a new tab so in it means you now you have understood there is one critical accessibility issue what is that so on this element we have that issue okay you don't know how to fix it okay it will be giving you some description images must have the alternative text okay if you don't know how to fix that you can click this link here it will be showing you why this issue, why this issue is important, how to fix this issue and more about this issue. You can learn, see what to do, exactly what, how to fix this issues. They will be giving you with the examples and lot of information related to that issue. So you'll be getting more idea on that. Okay, here we are not providing an alt attribute to the image tag. So that's the reason you got this one. Okay, so let me keep that and let's see like let me go back here and in this app.js so this alt is missing in the image tag so if you keep some empty logo also yep now if you go back to the application see again it will refresh let's refresh it see now we we got we the critical issue is gone so like this you can have see finding is like this you have now initialized this so first step is like you have installed this dependency now you have initialized this part is known as initializing our react x dependency okay this should be done only in the development mode not in the production mode so that you can fix all your issues in the development mode and it will not become an overhead at the production mode okay now with this this is an initialization part okay now we have seen this and we have seen how the issues will be coming and how to rectify that so if you want to fix this item see if i click it it is showing where this issue is there. And in order to uh, fix it, you can click this link and you can learn more about this. Here, we have not mentioned the role as main. 
So that is the reason we are getting this issue. So you can learn more about this issue and you can fix it with the help of e. You will be given a very detailed information how to fix that issue. Okay, you no need to worry about that. Just here is you have find out the issues. You have what is to be fixed. Both are in your hands. That it's now your your decision how to fix them, how to prioritize that in your projects. Okay, hope you understand this. And now we have one more thing is called as a configuration. So you can create one more variable. So here I can create one more constant config, and here I can give a set of configs. Okay. I can give set of configs like uh, where this acts has some default configurations. If you want more configurations than what you have by default, you can create like an array and you can define the rules. Okay. For example, how they look. So let me explain how they look. So they looks like this. You can define by default. You will be having some configurations. If you want to overwrite, uh, if you want to add new rules, you can add as an object. If you want to modify the existing rules that you can do, if you want to modify how it reports to the console that you can modify. So a lot of things you will be having while you are trying to configure that. But the basic is enough for now. But if you want more, yeah, let me keep this in the description. I will keep this link in the description. You can go through each and every property based upon that. You can still add more things to your accessibility so that your application would be free from accessibility issues. Hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching. We have a lot of videos in the Rethinking UI channel. Please have a look at it. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.